Some applicants who visited the NIA's head office complained about their unsuccessful attempt to obtain Ghana cards, causing increasing agitation and frustration. I've been chasing it since 21, 2022. I think this year is coming to an end. I'm still chasing it. They didn't give me a specific reason because the day I did it, they actually told me to come the next day for the card. I went the next day. I didn't get the card the next day. And since then, they've been tossing me up and down. I've been going everywhere. They told me the card is. I didn't get it. I came and they told me to come tomorrow because they've closed for the day. So I should be here by 8 a.m. Some traveled long distances to obtain their cards, only to be told to return later. I didn't the process, so it's left with how they issue their card to me. But anytime I come, they say system down, network, and all that stuff. But other people come, they pay money to people who issue the card, then they issue the card to them instantly. While those who've paid for premium service haven't received our card yet. I'm here for my Ghana card placement. But when I came here, they are saying the system is slow, so we have to wait for a while. So I'm waiting. The second phase of the Ghana card registration exercise comes at a time when the Electoral Commission has insisted on the use of only the Ghana card as the sole document for the limited voter registration exercise, a move which has been protested by the National Democratic Congress and several other civil society organizations. But this serves as a good opportunity for Ghanaians who are 15 years and above to get their Ghana cards done. The news team attempted to get responses to some of the issues raised, but no official would speak on record. The free Ghana card registration will not take place at NIS regional offices operating as premium registration centers. These include NIA regional offices at Ho, Koforidia, Kumasi, Sunyane, Sishirioso, Takrade, Tamale, and Techiman. Christian Yale, TV3 News, NIA head office, Accra.